Hi everyone. Today we are not discussing about piping designing or any technical matters. But we are going to discuss about something which is really important for everybody. So today's topic is about what are the things which is going to stop your growth? What are the things that doesn't allow you to grow further in your career? So I just wanted to have a candid discussion from my own experience. So let's start from the first thing. See, the first thing is a comfort zone. So before talking about comfort zone, let's understand one important thing. Growth is an unstoppable process, but it becomes unstoppable only when you pursue it to improve your knowledge on time and in a process that you kept on improving your skills by improving your learnings. So that is how you will be able to achieve growth. So now let's come to the topic. But comfort zone is something which really stops you from growing further. Why is it so? When we talk about comfort zone, there are different aspects, different dynamics are there. There are people who get settled down in a company because of the kind of working culture or because of the team members or because of the location specific or maybe the entire working atmosphere uh, is supporting for the family. Maybe uh, husband and wife works in the same company or same location. So there are different dynamics are there. But however, whatever be it, it is definitely going to stop your growth. So beware that if you are in comfort zone, then you have to take a decision very cautiously because that this will not allow you to grow further because you have set your mind in such a way that you have locked with various restrictions around you. So definitely until you unlock these restrictions, you will not be able to grow further. And the point number two is whether you are into a profession where you, ha you have seen at least some directional growth for another 15 to 20 years. Because when you are a fresher and starting a career in a particular job, you should have a vision at least for 15 to 20 years. If you do not have a vision at least for 15 to 20 years, then better to choose a field where you have this vision. Say for an example, a people get to choose a particular field or a job just for the sake of getting into some job for to generate an income. But after experiencing the day to day, uh, the job life and activities and going through various job huddles, they feel that they are not interested in that particular job. So eventually they have to switch the interest they will lose just because that they don't see the future in that particular job. They feel that there is no vision available, what they are going to do in another five years, what they are going to do in another 10 years, 15 years. So this kind of clarity will really disturb your mind. Though you uh, interestingly work your daily life, I mean uh, daily act job activities, this kind of information, if you do not have any clarity on this, this will continue to spoil your mind. So you will not be able to continue in the same job. So better to choose a field where you have at least 15 to 20 years. Say for an example in piping design, you have a clear vision of about 20 to 25 years. First, you will start as a junior engineer, then becomes an engineer, then a senior engineer, then a lead engineer, then the project lead engineering manager. So it goes on and on actually. So likewise, I'm not only insisting to choose piping, but you can choose any field where you have a directional growth. That's very important. And the third important thing is that your knowledge level, whether you have a sufficient knowledge in order to go to a next level or not. For example, you may be working in an intermediate skill, but you are not getting uh, higher responsibility, nor you are uh, able to clear interviews for a bigger roles. That indicates that you still did not possess a knowledge required for the next level. 
this is one of the biggest hurdle for everybody because when you are working in a particular company in a certain role if the role doesn't allow you to gain more knowledge definitely you will not be able to gain knowledge so what you can do is that you can check the market conditions every now and then and see whether the skills which are requested in the market are known to you or not if not then uh, try to find uh, a different platform to learn it you can learn it through course or you can learn it from experienced people or uh, learning from uh, any other uh, trainings but the intention is to improve your knowledge in an area where you have a demand actually so most people don't do it because like i said there are reasons of comfort zone they don't see uh, the visibility to go above say they they just stick to one particular job and profession and keep complaining about uh, increments and salary so you have to prepare yourself to move up the ladder so for that only skills and knowledge can help you so ensure that you are prepared for the next position so that you can simply able to clear the interviews and and note that preparation is one of the important thing we all have to do it preparation definitely indeed help you to grow so do prepare and do succeed now let's go to the fourth point so the fourth point according to my experience is that the whichever field you are working should have a demand if your field does not have any demand definitely you will lose your job opportunities for example there are 2d designers there are 3d designers now people are moving to 3d i'm not moving to 3d they have already moved to 3d but if you still learn and keep only the 2d skills and you will have very fewer opportunities and those fewer opportunities will be already taken over by those who were uh, i mean uh, in the market because for any position you will have thousands of applications Uh, and if the number of job opportunities are less then the reach for getting into the job is very uh, tough probability of getting into the job is uh, it's absolutely nil actually so you have to find a job where you have a demand in the market so what is the demand nature of the industry for that you have to do some browsing you have to do some reality check there are multiple ways to do a reality check i would say uh job portals are the best if you simply browse randomly for a week or two you will be able to understand what is the demand for a particular job and what are the expectations of the industry or you just have to speak to any working profession from multiple fields or multiple experience level so that they will be able to guide you what is uh, what you have to learn in order to get into the industry what is the future expectations what is the current expectations and all this things so choose a field where you have a demand okay and improvise your skills and knowledge accordingly so that you will be able to match your profile with that particular demand otherwise your career will get stopped after 5 years or 6 years working in one particular area and you feel that you don't have a skill to move up then that's not the problem of the industry or uh, the nature of a job it's a problem within ourselves for not seeing other than what we are doing okay so realize your mistakes and realize yourself your skills and knowledge and compare with your future and compare with your the industrial demands and accordingly work it out so that's very important and the last one i would say is that whether you are enjoying the process of working because there are lots of jobs in the world that people are only working for money um so most of the people are not enjoying the process of working so if you don't enjoy the process of working you will not see any improvements in the job so you will only see an improvement when you have uh, the enjoyment in your job so you have to ensure that the every day in and day out of your job you are enjoy i am not saying that your job needs to have be an entertainment for you okay you, at least you need to have a, a a kind of interest in your job you should not keep hating all the activities that you are kept on doing because that will become more stressful to you so please you have to ensure that you are enjoy the process of working so that's all about uh, today's video i will meet you with another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra